So the Murray Mile Handicap is next in. So I've noticed any Jim Murray horses this week. And this is over a mile, of course, and it's 0 to 75. And the top one is Risk of Youth for Darren Thompson, Jane Morris for Martin Lidham, and Quinn Adfero for Vinnie Gerard, King Charles for Hans Jones, Can't Thunderstruck for Derek Hinton, Darham Fire for Doug Warren, Ex Austral for Ananias, Pudding Spy for Doug Warren, Shooting Quasar for Hans Jones, Supercat for Ananias, Fredo for. James Follis, Red Danehill, David Robertson, Lizzie B, Martin Lidham, Norman Wisdom, Derek Hinton, Born on Venus, Alex Cherry, Pretty Vacant, Darren House, Fred Me Up, James Follis, I Next, Dan Hughes, Lady Laura, David Robertson, Looks Like Trouble, Pontypool Racing, Man Another, Darren House, Peacetime, Kevin Meanahan, Rattle and Hum, Graham Clutterbuck, Thunderbird, Kevin Meanahan and Zalano, Fire Alex Cherry, 25 on this turn in track then, and you can rule half of these out pretty much straight away, I think. Look at this, and away there you go and who's going to get to the fence is going to be the most important thing I think let's do this first further or so and King Charles is pulling for its head from a wide draw it's trying to cut itself across and it's making a reasonably good job although Super Cat is trying to hold it out at the moment but it's got to the fence King Charles from a wide draw so King Charles then in the lead from Super Cat second and the rest of them are all in a heap really with um, Zalano fire coming through nicely with Stable Companion born on Venus so trying to make a bit of a forward move there is the grey Lizzie B. But it's King Charles in the lead. And as they race, one in the final, one into the final five furlongs. And King Charles is the leader from Red Dane Hill second. As we see them racing away from us and towards the back there, putting spies the back marker. But it's King Charles in front from Red Dane Hill in second. Then Risk of Youth and Queen and Farah, born on Venus. Lizzie B. Wider on the track, the grey. And after that one comes Zalano five. Pretty vacant. He's trying to get going as well. A little bit of a gap back then to Thunderbird. But it's King Charles who's the leader. King Charles in front. Two and a half furlongs left to race. And King Charles in the lead from Risk of Youth. Lizzie B now coming with a good run. Then Red Dane Hill. Thunderbird has suddenly got going as well. Then Ant Quinger Farrow. Lady Laura is still there. Zalano Fire and Pretty Vacant are also still there. But they're into the final furlong and a half. And they've got to get to this King Charles. Could it be a quick double for Hans Jones? It's King Charles in the lead from Lizzie B in second. Then Ant Quinger Farrow and Red Dane Hill. Lady Laura racing into the final half furlong. It's still King Charles. Here comes Ant Quinger Farrow. Red Dane Hill. Risk of Youth spread right across the track now. Ant Quinger Farrow takes it up. But here comes Risk of Youth to win it. Risk of Youth is the winner. And a messy race. At risk of youth. Look it for Darren Thompson. One or two people will be wondering how Darren Thompson's got a horse in a 0 to 75. But he's done it and he's won it. And he's done it off top weight as well. So you can't argue about that. And look at that. 136 for that. For the draw. I'm not going to use up too much energy trying to get into a good position. And something like that. Darham Fire came third, didn't even get a mention in the race. So, Risk of Youth for Darren Thompson is the winner from stall four. At Quing and Pharaoh for Vinnie Gerard second from stall three. Darham Fire for Doug Warren was third. And then Ananias got fourth and fifth, both on bad draws 15 and 16, Super Cat and Ex Austral.